I am Joan Manson of Manson Fine Art. Thank you for joining me today as I review the 24 set of General's Pastel Chalk Pencils. This is the set I used. I worked on 7x10 Stonehenge Aqua Hot Press paper, and I converted the image on the left to this drawing on the right. Now, using for the very first time General's multi pastel pastel chalk pencils, which are pastel pencils, um, there's a set of 24. It's um, priced the same way the other better, uh, quote unquote, better pastel pencils are. I have Faber Castell, and I have Derwent, and I have uh, Karen Dash, and um, I wanted to try these. It's only a set of 24. They don't have the multitudes of colors that the others have. But I like their white and black pencils, their charcoals, their erasers, their sharpeners. I, I use a lot of their other products, so I thought I was finally able to get this set. So here I am. Now, it's a fold over, so you can put it away pretty easily on the inside are the trays that come out. As you can see, I haven't used any of them. Both sides, because I guess you can buy a 12 set, uh, both sides have pencil sharpeners. They all come with erasers. And they stay in their little slots very well. So they have erasers. This is a gray pencil. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use to draw with. I think I'm going to use to draw with Something along the line of a brown. What have we got over here? This looks a sort of a tawny. This is a beige color. I want to see how this works. Over here. I open my paper up. This is a block. So that if you're working in watercolor, it holds it in place for you. This is my bird. The pencil's moving very smoothly on the watercolor paper. I know that most people don't use watercolor paper when they're working with pastel pencils. I have found that watercolor paper is now my go-to paper for most mediums. And as I said, the pencil is moving along very smoothly. It's a, a beige and it's dark enough for us to see what's going down. Then I'll, as I'm moving through, I will also be adding a little bit of shadow. I will be building up the color, creating shadow, um, working light to dark. Just drawing in a few line indications of the bird feeder. I'm not going to do great detail on the bird feeder, but uh, in the end, there'll be some coloring. Eraser works really well. And now I'm pressing a little harder, adding a little bit more color. It works very nicely. It's moving along very smoothly. And I'm in time lapse so that uh, we can move through it a little more quickly for you. A little bit more shadow with a brown. Again, I'll be building up on top of these shadows. 
using them to create my hard edge. As I may or may not have said earlier, this is a juvenile cardinal. So there's a lot of orange and yellow on the belly. The, there's a red tone to the brown, but it's not quite red yet. And this may well be a female juvenile. I'm not expert in determining <laughs> the, uh, the sex and the age of birds. And this is the first juvenile cardinal that I've ever seen. I've seen tiny, tiny baby ones and adult females and adult males. But the juvenile is first. But I've been watching this bird and the wind colors are changing. The yellow is being replaced by orange and, and then with red. The pencils work very smoothly. What I like about the watercolor paper is that it has tooth and it's strong. And if I wanted to do something like use alcohol with my pencils, I could do that without issue. I'm using a soft tool from Pan Pastels to do the blending. You can use cotton swabs, you can use your finger, um, you can use cosmetic applicators for eyeshadow. It blends very nicely. Uh, the Generals runs about $35 retail for the 24 pencil pack. I bought it on Amazon and of course paid less. You can purchase them at any of the online stores and uh, a lot of the art and craft stores like Michael's and Hobby Lobby and, uh, and then of course the major art supply stores like Sam Flax. I'm adding the yellow here to the beak and to the chest or the belly. I'm letting it overlap the tan. And they are blending together very nicely, overlapping very nicely. And there's a gentle lightening happening to the brown. And a little bit more blending. And again, second color on top of the first the orange, overlaying the yellow and the brown. This way I'm creating a shadow as well as bringing in highlights. I'm adding more of that orange to the brown crown of the bird. And again, it blends on very nicely. The color works very smoothly. It's not a very soft pastel. Some are uh, the Caran Dash. This is a very soft pastel. For instance, um, okay, blending again with my soft tool. And I'm adding more of the deeper yellow. Building up is very easy with this pastel pencil. These pencils are uh, pretty firm, firmer than a lot of the others. As I said, not a soft pencil. And they really prefer well on a rougher paper, which is uh, always good to know. So if you're using uh, sanded papers, these pencils should be performing very well for you. This is a student grade, not a professional grade, but I, it doesn't really work any differently for me. The performance for me is just as good as my 
the way my uh, Faber Castell and my Derwin and my uh, Karen Dash pastel pencils work. These pencils are oil free and uh, acid free. And the colors are, are actually very lovely, very vibrant. Uh, not as vibrant as some, but, but certainly they can hold their own against a majority of the other pastel pencils. They work, as far as I'm concerned, it's just fine as professional grade pencil. Uh, it's good for a beginner. The price is not inexpensive, but uh, certainly not prohibitive. The company doesn't mention anything on the website or the uh, packaging to say that it's light fast, so I'm going to presume that it's not light fast, which is an issue if you're selling your work. Uh, but if you're making prints or illustrating or just beginning and practicing, I think that's that works just fine. Excuse me, there's a little alarm on my telephone there. Again, the blending and the building up is working very nice, very nicely, excuse me. So now I'm going to use a darker blue. I don't want the shadow to be flat. So I'm using the blue over the brown. Putting in all those fine details, creating hard edges, deepening the shadow, and adding that the blue will make the browns vibrate against the oranges in the in the bird, adding a little life to it. Just adding some touches of white pencil for a little highlighting. And I'm, here you go, adding some more orange. Just building up and blending and putting in additional details. I do want the appearance of the fluffiness of the feathers. I don't want it to be flat in appearance. And the pencils are doing very nicely for me. I have laid out a few pencil marks in the background to indicate the bird feeder and yeah. still building up. I'm really very pleased with the manner in which these pencils will build up and allow me to add more and more. It's a harder 
pencil so it does well on a rough surface as I said earlier but it very builds up very very nicely so I'm at I'm able to build the colors uh, add colors to change the influence of of the different shades And if you've never used pastel pencils before and you want to give it a try, I recommend using them. I think uh, you'll enjoy them. I do believe they'll work well with your other pencils if you already have some. I'm going to be trying them with, with others of my pencil sets and just adding bird seed to my feeder there. <laughs> if only it was so easy in reality should see the mess that I make when I fill my bird feeder and I'm blending them in I'm not going to wipe out the lines I'm just doing a light blending to, to bring in some shade to the feeder and aside from the fact that they're not light fast um, certainly could be used by professionals if you're an illustrator or a cartoonist um, or an uh, if what you're we're creating things that are going to be prints and t-shirts and, uh, and you're not concerned with selling the original then I see no reason to stop you from adding this to your professional collection as well as I said uh, the 24 pencil set goes for $35 or so. Um, I paid, I think, 27, 25% off. So you can shop around. And if you're interested, this is available in a 12 pencil set as well. If you'd enjoy this video and you'd like to see more of my work, uh, please click on the subscribe button. If you liked what you saw, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you've been with me before, I do appreciate your sticking with me, and I'm glad to have you back with me. Amazon affiliate links are listed in the description below to all of the products that I used in this video.